Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to my Waffle Square, where I obsess about things and you get to benefit from it. So has iOS 13 solved all of our issues with the iPad being incapable of downloading 4K video from the EOS R? Today we're going to find out. All right, quick backstory. I lamented in an earlier video that 4K video, when you try to load it directly into photos, shows up with this red exclamation point and isn't recognized. 1080p videos upload fine, but kind of defeats the purpose of why I purchased the uh, Canon EOS R with its high bitrate. But a few days ago, I upgraded to iPad OS 13.1. So now let's see if there's any differences loading up video. First, we'll try directly loading up to photos. Well, nothing's happening, but I do see an import button down here. That's new. And here comes everything I've been working on. So I've got photographs here, photographs here, and then these are all videos and none of them are coming up with previews. So these may look like they're all selected, but actually they're not until they turn blue. So let's select this one piece of video right here that I know is 4K. I'm not happy with the fact that you don't get a preview of it, but let's try importing it. No luck, still getting the red exclamation point. So down here I shot some 1080p video for slow-mo. Let's try one of these and see if we can get those to upload. All right, looks like all these 1080p files downloaded just like before. Let's keep those. Pull out our dongle here and let's see what we got. Okay, so it is starting to play those. All right, so every one of those 1080p files loaded up into photos just fine, but we could not get the 4K. Let's not give up though. Let's try going into files and doing it this way since uh, this is supposed to be all revamped with iOS 13. Okay, so this is quite new for iOS 13. Look here, you can see that the SD card has been recognized in files. That's pretty cool. We'll click in here. Let's go down through our file folders and now we've got the reverse where none of the raw files show up with previews, but these videos do. Let's try this one. It's one gigabyte, uh, about 30 seconds. So it's an introductory video that I shot yesterday. I'm Mike with House on the Mend, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Ryobi 8-inch pole saw. Specifically, right. this is so it's playing, but the audio like is off, and it's off quite a bit. But nonetheless, it's playing. Let's see if we can download it. All right, next we'll jump over here to LumaFusion. Let's try opening a new project. Let's see how quickly. It loads up and whether or not we can scrub through it. Yeah, that's not jumpy at all. Hi, I'm Mike with House on the Mend. And the audio is linking up here. Viewing the Ryobi 8 inch pole saw. All right, let's drop it down. And since it loaded right onto the iPad, we don't have the TikToking that we had in a previous video with the WD My Passport. Well, everything was seemingly going pretty well. The video was loading up onto the iPad through the files program. I was able to import it into LumaFusion and it seemed like it was gonna be a success until I started editing the videos that were longer than one minute. 
I had several overhead shots that I made with the Canon ESR in 4K. And when I started scrolling through them, I noticed that consistently after about the first minute and 15, minute and 16 seconds, the video froze and then the audio went to white noise. Yes, very annoying. So I checked all three of the videos and they were the same way. It seems that anything under a minute recorded and uploaded onto the iPad just fine, but anything over that, I had this same issue. So that's obviously unworkable. So rather than call it a complete failure, I went ahead and did one more set of experiments. I took the Canon EOS R with the two SD cards I have for it, both of which are rated 300 megabits per second and are supposed to be able to handle the 4K footage. And with each of those SD cards, I recorded over one minute in footage. In fact, it was about 15 minutes with the first one and five minutes for the second one. So let's jump back over into an overhead view, load up those two pieces of footage and see if I get the same issues with them. All right, so let's see if this issue repeats itself. We have the iPad opened up to files. We're gonna take our first piece of 4K footage from the Lexar SD card up it pops right here and there it is so let's take select and let's move it right into our LumaFusion user media folder and now let's do the same for the Amplum SD card file all right so we loaded this file onto a video I'm already editing and it's right at the 17 minutes 28 second mark and if we hit play you can see it starts to play and you can hear the background noise of me walking away from the camera all right we're about a minute into it and as we come up on right here same thing, about a minute, 10 minute, 15 into it, it cuts off into white noise. All right, now onto the Amplum card. I cleared out all the cache. I started a fresh project. I loaded that one piece of video on and as normal when we start it, it's running just fine and you can hear me walking away. And just like before, coming up to Where was that one at? One minute, 13 seconds, it freezes and goes to white noise. So we've learned nothing has changed with iOS 13. The Canon EOS R 4K video footage still cannot be downloaded in a usable format onto the iPad. Now the same workarounds still apply, namely the WD My Passport and the shipping out this week Narbox 2.0, which I'll be testing out once I get it to see if we can get faster download speeds than we got with either of the WD My Passports. So if you found this video helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps the YouTube algorithm to start suggesting it to more people. Also, I'd like to hear your comments below. Have you had the same issue or have you been successful? Let us all know and maybe there's a workaround that someone's figured out that I just can't. Until next time, thank you for watching.